All right, folks, this is an important video, especially for those who have just started using a wheelchair. Um, you know, uh, there are, I think for us who are more seasoned, uh, we kind of know this already, but this might be a good refresher or something you've never learned. So, and you're not quite sure where to position yourself. So I'm going to talk about what is inappropriate uh, gestures or acts or statements uh, towards people who use wheelchairs. And then I'll talk about, you know, what would be the best way to answer um, to that situation. So there are things that ableist or people who don't know how to approach a person in a wheelchair might do. And <laughs> it's very uncomfortable, but you're not quite sure, you know, what to do with that. So there are people who um, pat us on the head <laughs> like we're little children that, you know, you can say, I don't need that, thank you. Um, I'm a full grown adult, so you know, nobody goes around patting you on the head. But however you wanna respond to that, please don't do that or, you know, I don't appreciate that. Um, don't climb over us. <laughs> Sometimes you'll be in the grocery store, and this will happen to people in manual wheelchairs, that all of a sudden the person will just climb over you. <laughs> I have no words for that. But um, you can either stop them and say, knock it off, or, you know, that's very inappropriate, or, you know, you don't go climbing on pe other people, do you? You know, so you can express some anger. You can do it with courtesy but a strong voice. Uh, don't uh, push us away. There are people who believe that because we're in a wheelchair, we don't speak <laughs> and we don't hear and we don't see all of a sudden. So, uh, and this is scary for people in manual wheelchairs uh, more so. Um, you know, they will push you away in the grocery store. They want to get to something on the shelf and they'll just push you out of the way. So my recommendation really is that you put on your brakes. When you're at the shelf and you're there and you're looking at the items, put on your brakes so they can't move you. And then if you know they try, just say, excuse me, did you need something? You know, so, and please don't touch my wheelchair. <laughs> so. You know, it is so annoying. I've had people offer to push me. I'm in a power wheelchair, excuse me. <laughs> you can't push me. <laughs> so I, the power wheelchairs are driven, and so, you know, you can't push them. As soon as we take them, our hand off of the joystick, that's it. You know, and if somebody, I usually turn off my um, joystick when I'm stopped. So uh, just for my own protection, so if somebody, a child, or somebody comes up to play around with my joystick, um, it won't do anything. So, so again, for my own protection, I just um, turn off my joystick. Um, let me see. Don't stare at us. <laughs> you know, I, the stare, first of all, sorry, I had a cup there. First of all, the stairs, you know, take a little bit to get used to and just ignore. Um, if they are close enough to you, you can go up to them if you want to and just say, can I, can I help you with something? <laughs> so, you know, it's like, sir, is there something wrong? You know, uh, so, you know, people are not, some people have never seen a person in a wheelchair that close to them. So they tend to stare. Um, I had a person in a store recently who just stood there when I walked in, when I rolled in, and I was going from aisle to aisle. I was looking for the ketchup and the mayonnaise, um, and I just ignored him. But even when I was coming out, he was still standing there <laughs> staring at me. So I thought, this is hilarious. But, you know, I almost went up to him, and I said, sir, is there something I can help you with? I see that you're watching me or something. So maybe you have questions. 
So sometimes it's an opportunity to educate. But um, he, he walked away once I was checking out, so I don't know. Uh, people tend sometimes to kneel next to us or in front of us when they're talking to us. And it's important to tell them they don't have to do that. They can just talk to us in a normal fashion, standing next to us, that'll be fine. Uh, or sit in a chair if they want to talk to us, sit in a chair, you know, same level. But not to kneel or sit on the ground to talk to us. It's just very childish type, you know, behavior. Um, don't talk to us like children. Sometimes they say, oh, how are you this morning? Are you okay? <laughs> it's like they're doing like slapping them. <laughs> like knock it off. I, you know, I usually say, I'm fine, and how are you? <laughs> Is there anything I can help you with? So really, um, sometimes people do tend to talk to us like children, and you can right away say, you know, just remember I'm an adult, so just talk to us like a regular adult. Um, or, you know, they ignore us in conversations when there's a group. They... People just ignore us like we're not there. And it's like, wh what? <laughs> you know, raise your hand or something or say something and say, people, I'm here, you know. Or sometimes they'll start talking to you in the group or talking about you. And it's like, uh, hello, I'm right here. Woo, woo, -hoo, you know. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, or sometimes they will talk to the companion. Now, this is important for you and your companion to have an agreement before this happens. So you need to understand that, and for the companion to understand, that you can speak for yourself. <laughs> so you have to have an agreement with your companion that if they start giving instructions or whatever to your companion and not to you, that your companion not say anything and turn and look at you so that the person who's talking understands a companion is not going to respond, that they can talk directly to you in terms of instructions or what they need from you or, um, you know, updating you on something new. It should go to you directly. So uh, you can let your companion know, just ignore them or look at me so they know to talk directly to me. Um, or for the companion to say something, please talk to her directly. I don't answer for her. So and that's really important to say. Oh, <laughs> this one I hate. For people not to lean or be touching your wheelchair. <laughs> the, the wheelchair is an extension of us. You know, it's, it's part of my body. You know, you don't go leaning on, on people. You know, you're in the grocery store, you start leaning on some stranger. <laughs> I can't imagine what that would <laughs> could cause. <laughs> but truly, um, be vocal about that one. Uh, <laughs> I had an interesting situation where, uh, you know, I can use a walker short distances, but I was in the dining room and there was this member who tended to move my walker according to what she thought was the best position for my walker. And I asked her to not do it, and she did it anyway. So then I grabbed my walker, and I said, do not touch my walker. Don't touch it. And she went for it again. No. Nope. And she went for it again. I said, no, do not touch my walker, ever. So then she backed away, but some people believe that they just have command of the, our, our accessories of our, you know, wheelchair, and it's not true. We need to let them know it's, it's our space. It belongs to us. It's our space. Don't touch it. <laughs> Don't. So that's an education that, that really needs to be done over and over. Because there are people who just kind of lean on it or they just lean on it to talk to you. And it's like, please don't do that, you know. 
I'm also hearing impaired, so I need them to back up so I can see their facial expressions when they're talking. And leaning on me, leaning on the the um, armrests and putting their face in front of mine doesn't help at all with the hearing. <laughs> so <laughs> they need to back off. Sometimes they do it like, oh, I'm your pal, so I'm just going to lean on your wheelchair. No, that's inappropriate. Very inappropriate. You don't lean on someone that you barely know to talk to them. <laughs> you don't. You don't touch them. So I don't know why they're touching our wheelchair. I just don't get that. But, you know, that, that comes with education. Do not lean on my wheelchair. Don't touch my wheelchair unless I give you permission. So, so that's really, really important for us to, to handle and to know that people just can't do whatever they want with your wheelchair they have to get your permission or instructions on what to do. Um, I see the nurses, you know, they'll look at me for instructions you know, when I have to transfer over to a car or something. And they'll say, you want me to do X, Y, Z with your wheelchair? Yes, please. You know, so, so they know, you know, when they can touch my wheelchair, do something with my wheelchair, because I'm giving them explicit permission and directions on what to do. So there can be many more, you know. Um, sometimes when you're at stores, people will crowd around you asking if the you need help, which is, which is nice. Sometimes there are items that are way too high, but usually when I want to reach something, there's nobody around. <laughs> and when I don't need anything, there's a whole bunch of people there. Um, asking to do if they if they can help me um, and that's nice but uh, I think that I think that they need to ask if we need help just like they would any other person I realize that you know okay it's a person with disability I should you know help them out um, but I usually tell them thank you so much um, I like you know uh, I'm just looking around for right now I'm not sure what I need or what I want so I'll, I'll come and get you. <laughs> What's your name? <laughs> so, so then they understand, you know, I'm just looking for something and I don't know what I, what I need. Or I'll ask, where's the mayonnaise, where's the ketchup, or where are the blouses or underwear or, you know, whatever I'm looking for at the time. <laughs> so uh, people try to be very helpful. Sometimes it's a little bit too much. <laughs> so... Um, but I, I think these tips are important. There's a lot of other annoying things that people do uh, with or for people with, with a wheelchair. I have a video about um, stranger danger, I think I called it, something like that. Um, I read an article about a woman who was in a manual wheelchair, and all of a sudden, a stranger started pushing her. No comments, no statements. He just started pushing her. And when she asked him to please stop, he wouldn't. So that was very scary. He was pushing her. She didn't know where they were going. And she, actu she asked him several times to stop. And there was another stranger who saw the situation happening. And he had to come up and demand that that person back away from the wheelchair immediately. So uh, she really appreciated that hero. Uh, so that is th those things are very, very scary. Um, I don't know what I would do if someone took over my joystick and wouldn't let go. I'm not sure what I would do. Um, but it's a possibility. So we also need to be ready for that. <laughs> Get a personal alarm or something. <laughs> but yeah, uh, these weird things can happen. And it's just bad behavior from other people, just bad behavior, bad education, lack of education maybe, not bad, but lack. So, so anyway, I just wanted to make this video to kind of remind you, kind of refresh, kind of give you information you did not know, and um, some helpful comments that, you know, might work. You have to design your own that you feel comfortable with, stating, you know, please back off, please you know, do not do this, please, you know. So I put a please in there, but if people are annoying, then, then I get on them. 
so <laughs> verbally. <laughs> so anyway, I'm hoping this video is helpful, and especially for those who are newer wheelchair users to know what could transpire when they're out and about among the, the public and how to handle it. So uh, I, I'm wishing you well. Just don't fear anything. You are a great person, a person who needs to live a life, a full life, just like anyone else. You can do anything you put your mind to, and you can go anywhere that the public goes. So I always say that. It just, you, you might, some things might be out of reach, and you might have to ask for some help. But otherwise, you can handle it. You can do anything where the public goes. So um, any questions, any other suggestions that you might have, or any incidences that have happened to you and how you handle them? <laughs>